Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today I want to talk about what is probably the hottest top water trend going. We're seeing it across the board. I talked to a bunch of my fellow professional anglers over the last several weeks and it is ridiculous to me how everyone is bringing up the same thing. Now we're not necessarily talking about the topic or what I think is this new trend, but it's just insane, you know, when we're talking about what somebody caught something on, if you're watching, say, Bassmaster Live or MLF Live, you're seeing this trend take place everywhere. And it's not really being talked about, but I think uh, a lot of anglers are starting to catch on to it. So before I get into it, before I reveal what this top water trend is, I do want to remind you guys that if you're looking for some additional content from me, check out my members only uh portion of YouTube. You can go to my YouTube homepage, click on the join button, find out everything you need to do with that. But you get a bunch of additional content from me, both in video and live stream, as well as having direct access to me to ask you your questions. So check that out, guys. Also, if you want to support the channel and you need to purchase some tackle, use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. I'll put the link in the video description for that as well. All right, guys. So I'm starting to prep for my Potomac River event. I'll be leaving in a couple of days, starting to rig some rods. I think there could be a pretty good topwater bite. So I've got several topwater baits that I'm going to tie on. We just saw a tournament at the Sabine River where a lot of guys were throwing topwaters uh, and they were all pretty similar in some manner. Uh, we've seen guys throwing similar topwater baits now at the BFL All-American that just wrapped up, several of the Toyota Series events, and it's pretty simple, guys. What we are seeing across the board is guys throwing this. Now, not necessarily a Vixen, but a black topwater. So whether it's an all-black Vixen whether it's the Maverick colored Chapo, whether it's an all black Pop R or a black Buzzbait, guys, it is becoming very, very evident that topwater baits that are black are becoming extremely popular. And they're popular because they are catching a pile of fish. Now, I think there's a pretty easy reason for this. Now, this is my logic. I can't really speak to anything else. But the reality is, if you have a black bait sitting on the surface, that black silhouette of that bait will stand out more than potentially any other color topwater, regardless of style of topwater and regardless of the daylight conditions. Meaning, if you've got sunny conditions and you have a topwater on the surface, that black bait is producing a very clear silhouette. But at the same time, if you don't have the sun out and you've got overcast cloudy conditions, a black bait will still produce a very good dark silhouette. Now, the, this is very similar to if you talk to a lot of guys that love to night fish, they will almost always say that black is one of your best colors. And it simply has to do with the black creates a better silhouette during low light nighttime conditions than any other bait. So if you're looking for a bait to come in contact or a, a bait that the fish can come in contact with and find easily, black is one of the best ones out there. So I will say not only is like a solid black bait good, but you can get away with other dark colors, some dark blues, dark purples. Any of the baits that have a dark profile seem to be generating a lot of strikes. Now, one thing I do like to do sometimes, though, is still put a little dot of chartreuse or pink or hot orange, both on the back of the bait, as well as a little bit on the belly of the bait in certain places, which can give a little bit of a reactionary effect to your bait, meaning the fish see that, it triggers them to bite, and therefore it can generate a few extra strikes. But the reason I like to put it on the back is so that I can visually see my bait better. A lot of times your black baits will blend in much better with the water, from our perspective looking down and they're harder to see than say a white bait or something that really does stand out. So a lot of times I'll put a little dot of chartreuse or a little dot of hot pink on the bait just to give it an effect like this pompadour does. It's 
where you have chartreuse on the head. And the whole point to that is so I can see it. I can not only uh, watch my bait during the entire retrieve, but I can also detect strikes better. Meaning if this bait is coming along the surface and I see that chartreuse disappear, I know my bait is under the water at that point. That's why I like to put a little dot of a bright color on the tops of any of my baits. But I do think there's value in having a little bit of a bright spot on the bottom of your bait as well to trigger those fish into biting as well as giving the fish maybe a potential target to strike at. But the key here is, guys, black, black, black is definitely a hot trend in the topwater arena right now, generating a lot of strikes regardless of style. Your poppers, your walking baits, your buzz baits, your frogs, black is a very solid color to go with across the country. It really does seem to shine, especially from the about right now. So once the shad spawns over all the way through the rest of the year of the year. So if you haven't used the black top water bait, I think you might want to try it. We see this goes back a ways. I mean if you look at a black jitterbug, that was one of the most famous color jitterbugs, still catches them today. Um, so black has been around for a while. I just think a lot of the anglers haven't truly caught onto it. So I think you need to go get a couple if you haven't tried it yet, especially if you night fish. If you night fish and you're not throwing black, you're really missing out. But there is a big time trend in going towards black topwater baits. So give it a try, guys. I highly recommend it. I think it'll help you catch a few extra fish. And at the same time, I think it adds to a little bit more enjoyment on the water because there's nothing wrong with a top water bite. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.